and welcome to our YouTube channel. Some of you may notice that this video is a bit different than our regular videos. It's a little bit more intimate, a little bit more unscripted, a little bit more shooting from the hip. And that's because this is a special video for us. Uh, we've been listening to our customers and some of the questions they've been asking us. And we've put together a special tool that we hope will help some of you. Customers have been coming to us saying, yes, we know that data protection is important. We know that uh, you know disaster planning is important. But how do we quantify this for other people who are decision makers in the IT process? So that's why we've put together the downtime cost calculator. And if you go to downtimecost.com, you too can check out our downtime cost calculator. You will see exactly what I'm seeing. So just to put this into a social context, the world has changed a lot over the last 20 years. You know, customers don't want to call a 1-800 number for service anymore. They demand instant service through a self-service portal online. Um, you know, businesses in the manufacturing sector, it's everything's all about just in time, right? Your business is part of an ecosystem of suppliers. And if any one of those suppliers sort of doesn't meet their obligations, then it causes bottlenecks all over the ecosystem. And that can have serious effects on your business and on other businesses that depend on you. And in the business world in general, what used to be a nine to five business world is now a 24 seven business world. This is because of multiple factors, not just globalization. Business happens all over the world. We've also got the internet. We've got mobile computing. People are working from the road, from their mobile devices. And when something does go wrong, the way that the world responds to it is very different. Before, your PR department had a lot of control over the messaging that went out into the media. Today, the media is no longer in control. Today, it's all about the social media, the Facebook, the Twitter. When something goes wrong, public opinion gets out and there's no filter. There's nothing you can do. You just have to be responsive and ready to react at a moment's notice. That's why it's important to put a lot of thought into your disaster recovery and business continuity plan. And that's why we've created this downtime calculator that you see today. The downtime calculator is a very simple tool. Uh, all you do is you import input a little bit of data so for example in the event that your IT systems go down your there's a flood that destroys your data center your computers are gone uh, how, how fast can you get up and running again how will this affect your business so all you do is you enter some basic data so for example your annual revenues don't worry about entering real data in there because it's all anonymous we don't track any of this data we don't associate it with any personal information so go ahead and play around, put in real numbers, fake numbers, whatever. We have no way of storing this information. So you put in your annual revenues and you imagine in the event of unplanned downtime, how much would this affect your annual revenues? And don't just think of sales as in you know, your minute to minute sales, but also think of the lifetime value of your customers. If a customer is depending on you, they will spend with you every week for many, many years. But if you fail to make them happy, they might go to a competitor and they'll take that, that recurring business to your competition. So that's something to factor into your annual revenues and the impact that the downtime will have to your revenues. So depending on the kind of company that you have, it's, if it's an online business or a very technology dependent business, then the downtime of your IT systems might have a 100% effect, right? Or if it's you know a service business where you've got manual or paper-based systems and it's not that important that your servers are always running 24-7, then maybe it'll only impact it 60%. And then you have to worry about lost productivity. So here you put in the number of employees that would be affected by a server outage. And also, what's the, the employee cost per hour? And when you're factoring in the employee cost per hour, don't just think about their salaries, but think about other other costs involved in having employees be unproductive sit around they can't do their jobs so that's something to keep in mind as well and finally just as with the law of sales you have the slider bar that tells you know to what degree is an IT outage going to impact your company from a productivity perspective once you've done that you hit the panic button and you will see lots of useful information come up on the screen not just in terms of hard financial numbers objective numbers that that you can use, but also in terms of uh, qu qualitative, uh, actionable data that you can present to other people who are involved in the disaster planning process in order to present your arguments for why IT should take a certain direction with its data protection and business continuity. Have a look at the downtime cost calculator. Once again, it's downtimecost.com. Check it out. 
let us know what you think in the comments. If you like our downtime cost calculator, share it with your friends, uh, like it, subscribe to our channel, and thank you very much. Take care.